Hello everybody, this is Marcus Finolt. I just want to make a quick video showing you how to work with DaVinci Wide Gamut when working with Z-Log or a, any C cam, uh, camera. As you can see, there's no way to use uh, Z-Log in a Resolve Color Managed workflow unless you use third-party applications. And so that's what we're gonna do. Go to this website uh, from Zcam, download the LUT. This opens up to a uh, Google Drive folder. Download the uh, Zlog Color uh, OFX plugin, or if you're using Premiere, you can download this one. Install it to Windows, and then reopen Resolve again after this. And so search for Zlog Color, add it to the first node, and you're gonna see a lot of settings. Ignore pretty much all of these settings, but you're gonna to want to go from C-Log 2 or C-Log, depending on the camera, uh, into a wider color space. And the widest one I could find here was Alexa Wide Gamut. I tried it and it didn't work that well. So I'm gonna use Asus uh, CCT instead. So we're basically going from C-Log into Asus CCT here. That's all that's happening in this uh, node. So you're going into a scene referred workflow. Uh, but I don't want to work in Asus, I want to work in DaVinci Wide Gamut. So I'm going to go from Asus, Asus CCT into DaVinci Wide Gamut. And the forward OOTF is unchecked because we're going from a scene referred into a scene referred uh, color space. So now you can grade underneath here. And at the end of your chain, you're going to have to want to go from DaVinci Wide Gamut again. into whatever uh, output you want to go to. In my case, that's Gamma 2.4, Rec. 709, and apply saturation compression. Make sure you uncheck, uh, or you check this bypass color management button, because if you don't, it's automatically going to assign Rec. 709 as the input color, uh, color space, which is wrong. So bypass this and then grade underneath to whatever liking. Thanks to Driven Films for supplying some free sample footage. I will uh, put their link in the description and you can download it yourself and try it. This is not a commercial use, this is just to show a simple workflow for those who are interested. All right, hope this helped. Bye bye.